are so up. This displays the movie fan that the first three seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants are fucking awesome. There is no denying that. But even good shows have their share of bad episodes. There are far more good episodes of the first three seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants than there are shitty ones. But the bad ones still need to be talked about. And now I'm reviewing the worst episode of the first three seasons of SpongeBob SquarePants, in my opinion. So, anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. The episode begins with a very funny scene where SpongeBob's glove balloon keeps hitting the bus driver. Now this is a torture scene done well because it's very fucking funny. Sadly though this is the only scene of the entire episode that's funny. Anyway later on Patrick and SpongeBob get to a town called Rock Bottom. And here is where the episode starts becoming very fucking bad. Spongebob is stuck in the town and just wants to get back to Bikini Bottom. And most of the episode revolves around him trying to get at the next bus that goes to Bikini Bottom. Why do I hate this episode? Because I consider it nothing but torture for poor Spongebob. And the episode gets worse. Anyway, Spongebob waits for so long that he gets hungry. Okay, here is another problem that I have with this episode. The bus only leaves when Spongebob is not there waiting for it. I'm sorry, but that's not funny. In fact, it's fucking sick. What's even more sick is that the fact that he goes fucking hungry while waiting for the bus. Seriously, Fuck this piece of shit episode! I hate it so much! And trust me, the episode gets worse from here. Anyway, Spongebob goes to a vending machine to get some snack. But while he is trying to get snack, the bus leaves him. And he can't eat from the vending machine because he keeps getting distracted by getting to the bus on time. Also, another problem with this episode that I have to point out is the fact that I'm convinced, totally fucking convinced, that the bus driver is an asshole and is deliberately trying to leave without Spongebob just to mess with him. This episode is so fucking sick. Spongebob Squarepants is a great character for the first three seasons. And seeing him getting the torture that he doesn't deserve makes this episode so painful to sit through. Anyway, Spongebob has to wait in a long line to reach the reception desk. Hasn't this episode tortured Spongebob enough? Now he has to wait in a long fucking line? When is the next bus to Bikini Bottom? What? <laughs> the bus schedule, the next bus. I can't <laughs> understand <laughs> your accent. Accent? Are you fucking kidding me? Since when did Spongebob have a fucking accent? Oh, I get it. Spongebob can't talk to the receptionist unless he takes his tongue out like a fucking fool. Oh man, this episode is so painful. And then a citizen of Rock Bottom gives Spongebob his balloon back and convinces him that he can use the balloon to get back up to Bikini Bottom. Are you fucking kidding me? He could have used a balloon this entire fucking time? Then why did the episode waste my time by Spongebob constantly missing the bus? The fact that there was an easy solution to this problem makes me more fucking angry. At the plus side, the episode is almost over. And the episode ends with Patrick heading back to Rock Bottom. Oh great, does that mean he will be stuck in that boring town too? Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I fucking hate this episode with a passion. Even though it's nowhere near one of the worst episodes of the show, it is one of the worst of the first three seasons for sure. And it is the worst season one episode. I mean seriously, most of it revolved around Spongebob trying to get the bus, but always missed it. That's not funny, that's fucking sick. And for that I'm going to give this episode a rating two middle fingers. I mean seriously, fuck this episode. Well guys, that's all I've got to say. Thank you for watching, have a great day.